my name is Linda Flores. I'm the program manager at Common Threads El Paso. And this is my daughter. Hi, my name is Camila, and I'm six years old. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make a healthy small bite snack. Before I go into the snack, I want to tell you a little bit about Common Threads. Common Threads is a national nonprofit where we teach students, families, parents, and teachers how to eat healthy and also how to cook healthy through snack preparing and also cooking skills. Today we're going to be cooking a recipe from our Small Bites program. This is one of our favorite recipes here in El Paso that we've been doing, and it's our cracker snacks. Camila is going to show you what ingredients we need for our cracker snacks. We're going to need cinnamon, banana, and crackers. Perfect. Thank you, Camila. Cinnamon, banana, and crackers. Super easy and super simple. Today we are using whole wheat crackers. I recommend using whole wheat crackers because those have a little bit, are a little better for your body and they're gonna keep you fuller longer. That way you're not always running to the kitchen for a different snack, which happens sometimes, huh? <laughs> so the way you can tell if a cracker is whole wheat or not is by looking at the ingredient list. You want the first ingredient to be a whole grain. So you'll see here it says whole wheat. That's how we know it is a whole wheat cracker. It can also say oatmeal, brown rice, um, it can say quinoa as well, and that will be a whole grain cracker. If you don't have whole wheat crackers at home for this recipe, that's okay. You can use graham crackers, you can use saltine crackers, whatever type of cracker you have at home. And if we don't have crackers, then what can you use? An apple. You can just use an apple slice instead of a cracker. Thank you, Camila. Okay, so let's get started. Our first ingredients are crackers. So let's go ahead and place three crackers on this plate, Camila. Great. Great job. And now we're going to add some banana slices on top of each cracker. Please, always remember, use a bear claw. Always remember to ask for permission from your parents first before you go in the kitchen, use a knife. And like Amila saying, use a bear claw. What she means is you're going to go ahead and put your hand out like this. Um, children, parents, if you're watching, go ahead and put your hands out like this. This is going to prevent you from cutting any of your fingers. Right now we're just slicing a banana, it's super easy, super simple, and we're using a butter knife. So it's really not sharp at all. So she's going to cut two slices. Perfect. And she's going to place those two slices on top of two crackers. Easy peasy. And then the other one next time. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to do something special with that one later. Next, we're going to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on one of the crackers. Because it's going to be spicy. Yeah, we do not want too much cinnamon because then it comes off a little bit spicy. So we just want very little cinnamon just to add some flavor. Okay, very good. And just one of them. Good. So this is one variation. A cracker, banana, cinnamon, and it's ready to eat. If you want to have something a little bit sweeter, you can add a dark chocolate chip on top. Go ahead and add the dark chocolate chip on top for me. On this one. Here's another variation. Or instead of the dark chocolate chip, if you don't have dark chocolate, you can also add just a little dash of honey on top. It'll make it a little extra sweeter. Let's say you don't have banana. We're going to actually use some Greek yogurt and a slice of strawberry. You can use whatever fruit you have. If you have the apple, if you have blueberries, anything you have in the fridge, a slice of orange would be really yummy too. So we're going to put a little bit of yogurt on our last cracker here. <laughs> it actually tastes good. When you taste it, it will taste so yummy. Mm -hmm. We're going to look. Like, oh! <laughs> this is, this is, is the incredible thing that I ever ate. <laughs> I am super duper cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll put a little strawberry on top. You can use whatever yogurt you have. I'm using Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt has a little bit more protein. Again, it'll help me keep me fuller longer. And there you go. Those are our three cracker snacks. There's a bunch of other things you can use. If you want to use a slice of cheese with a little pear, you can be as creative as you want. 
For this recipe and a lot of other kid-friendly recipes that you can do as a family or your children can prepare actually almost on their own, you can visit us at www.commonbites.org. That's www.commonbites.org. And that is it. Thank you for joining us for our healthy snack time. Again, my name is Linda Flores with Common Threads. Say bye, Camila. Bye.